guys, welcome back to Crystal's Heart and Home. Hope everyone's doing well today. I am going to share with you a two-week grocery haul. I went to Aldi's this time instead of Walmart. I've only been to Aldi's one other time and I was not very impressed with it. But I have been watching so many people on YouTube showing their grocery hauls and how much better the prices are at Aldi's, so I thought I would give it a try. So, without further ado, I'm going to turn you guys around and I'm going to show you everything I got at Aldi. Okay, we're going to start with the 10 pound bag of potatoes. On over to the dairy, I got some cream cheese. Got two packs of the cage free brown eggs. Got two of the pumpkin spice creamers. You guys know how I love my creamers. I got two of the almond milks, got some butter, and got some string cheese. Now we'll head over to the vegetables. I got a pack of onions, two packs of the mushrooms, got four heads of the artesian lettuce, I think that's how you say it, got um, some French green beans, got romaine lettuce, got five cucumbers. Now we'll head over to the bottle stuff. I got a bottle of ranch, a bottle of Italian dressing, and some mustard. We got some pesto sauce. Got some barbecue sauce. And I saw this and I thought I love anything pumpkin, so I'm gonna try this. I thought this would be really good over zucchini noodles. So I'll let you know how that tastes. And got a jar of salsa. Got four cans of the diced tomatoes. Got some kidney beans, chili beans, two cans of those, and two cans of the black beans. We have a baked potato night, and my husband likes to put these chili beans on top of his baked potato with butter and sour cream and bacon bits. I got some cream of chicken soup for a couple of recipes. My husband likes bean and bacon soup. Got some more cream of mushroom. Another bean and bacon, and then I got a tomato. I thought we would do a tomato and grilled cheese sandwich night. Um, got some of the beefy onion soup mix. There's a couple of recipes. I'm going to do a roast, so one of the roasts calls for this. Got some tunas for my husband's snack. Two of the fat-free tunas. I got some trail mix, also for my husband's snack. And I got the... Snyder's of Hanover. My husband likes the honey, mustard, and onion pretzels. Got a box of protein bars and got a box of um, vanilla cream. These are like um, wafer bars. So they're a protein bar, but they're like wafer bars. So I hope I like these. Not tried these before. Uh, got some graham crackers. Got some applesauce. And then just got the variety pack of crackers. Got some peanut butter, and on over to the breads, we got some bagels, everything bagels, and these are mine. These are the flatbread multi-grain with flax wraps, and then of course they had pumpkin bread, so I had to pick this up. Seed, seed you later is what it's called, pumpkin bread, and this is really good. As you can tell, I've already taste tested it. It was fabulous. It had pumpkin and seeds in it, and it's really good. Okay, that's all for the breads. Now we will head over to the meats. Got these chicken breasts. What I'll do is I will cut these up individual. I'll slice them in half, and that way I'll have more chicken breast. Um, we got some hamburger meat. This is the 7327. Got some pepperonis. I got a big roast. We'll have a roast one Sunday night with potatoes and carrots. Got some ham. This was marked down. I thought we'd do some ham sandwiches or ham and cheese rolls. Got this tomato basil sun-dried chicken breast. This marinated in the tomato basil, so I thought this would be really good. Then I just got some chicken legs. Um, my husband likes me to make chicken legs in the oven. I'll just put barbecue sauce on it or shake and bake and put it in the oven. That's one of his favorite meals, which is simple and easy. I got me these chicken sausages. I got four packs of those. I like to eat these in the morning with my eggs. And then I seen the sun-dried 
chicken breast, so I thought I would cut this up and use this for my lunch. And then my husband likes bacon. I'm not a fan of bacon, but he loves bacon. And this is the pepper, peppercorn bacon, and he loves anything pepper, so I thought he would like that. And then a non-food item I got was these little Halloween lights. I thought these were really cute. They're battery operated, and they're just little orange lights. And my total was one sixty-seven forty-two. Um, like I said, this was my second time ever going to Aldi's. Everyone raves about Aldi's on YouTube, so I thought I would give it a try. So I will let you guys know what I think of the products. The only downfall I found was vegetables. They do not have a good selection of vegetables. At least mine doesn't have a good selection of vegetables. So I'm going to have to make another stop at another store to get some frozen, like frozen bag vegetables or just good looking vegetables because they just did not have any good looking vegetables but that is it for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this and like i said i will let you know what i think about the audis experience again it wasn't busy when i went so that was a good thing but i am not sure about some of the quality like i really like vegetables i love to have vegetables and they just didn't have a good selection so that means i'm gonna have to stop again which i really didn't want to do but anyway, I'm going to stop ranting, and this was the grocery haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, that was it for my Aldi's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'd only been to Aldi's one other time. This was my second time, and I will definitely go back. There are some things that I would have to go to another store for, like washing detergent, snuggles, green teas, you know, diet sodas, things like that. Yeah, but I mean, I definitely would go back to Aldi's. Their prices are much better. Yeah, so I'm glad I gave it a second chance. Thank you, Audie, for letting me have that second chance. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And please tap that bell so you'll get my future videos. And I do appreciate all you guys stopping by watching these videos. And thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!